Hey guys. Um, okay. So, I have to apologize hugely for for this. Um, I started watching through my playlist this week and I realized there's like a pretty crucial video missing and I do not have it. I must have deleted it because I'm working with limited storage space on my computer. And it's the one where, oh yeah, that's right. Uh, last time we left, we were chilling in our hot tub with Lydia, who will take off all of her clothes to get in the hot tub, which cracks me up. Anyway, um, I completely did not upload the section between leaving Bleak Falls Barrow and starting to fight the dragon at Western Watchtower. So, like, was that it? Maybe I did get that. I don't recall. There was a very crucial section that I missed before the dragon at uh, Western Watchtower. And so, um, I don't know what happened to it. I can't find it. I am so sorry. It probably was not very witty anyway. Um, so let's get going. Let's see. I've got my Thieves Guild armor on. What am I doing? What are my quests? Alright. Shall we go? Oh, let's go. Let's go do some jobs a couple times. We'll see, see Skyrim. Get some experience in. Maybe do a couple of side quests. Uh, I'm going to check my field of view. I should do this before I start recording. Alright, and it's fine. It just feels all... Woo! Oh yeah, you have to open the gate. How am I doing? Haha, <laughs> I'm at 66. Um. Yeah, well, this one might be a traveling episode. I don't know. I mean, I could take a, a thing. I could take a... I don't remember what it's called, a carriage. I could take a carriage. Uh, but then we wouldn't see Skyrim. I mean, look, there's mountains. We could travel over mountains. Yeah, let's do that. Um, which way are we taking? Um, going through Morthal is definitely the most direct route. Unfortunately, it will take us through Labyrinthian, which I do not want to do. Um, then we can hug the coast and go to Dawnstar and Winterhold on our way to Windhelm. My gosh, I took a job in solitude and a job in Windhelm. Jeez Louise. <sighs> Maybe we should have gone to Windhelm first. Nah, this will be fine. We'll just head up to, I don't even know if I've gone all the way down this road. We'll just go up to Rorikstead and up to Solitude that way. And it will take a while. Uh, I should start timing myself. Okay. Ish. Um, let me set a timer really quick. I think that's what we'll do. Sorry, I know this is so boring. Uh. I want the stopwatch. Okay. I'm officially timing myself now. I am so sorry. This has been horrifying so far. We are off. Uh, who's that? I think that's a farmer. It's like my farmhouse burned. It's very sad. Oh well. Where's he going? Let's talk to him. Greetings, sister. You look weary. I have something to help you relax if you're interested. What have you got for sale? Ah! We have a skooma dealer. wonder if he would buy anything from us. Oh, he'll buy anything from us. I have honey. I don't know where he got honey. Yeah. What are you talking about? Skooma, the sweetest moon sugar. At a fair price, of course. Oh. Uh, 
I tell you what, if I die, we'll go to Windhelm first. If I win, we'll go to Solitude. Just give me what you have and we both walk away from this. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Dang it. Bro, this is not how I expected this episode to start. I am beating up an orc. <laughs> oh, and Lydia's like right next to me. Actually, I think she might be hurting me too. Oh gosh, he's gonna hurt me, isn't he? Ah, uh, do I have any potions? I have a drought of health. What is this? Oh, that's not what I need. I guess that'll help. Mm. I guess stamina would help, but not really. I'm gonna just eat all of this raw meat that I have. And the honey. No what the heck? Wait, that's not fair. Cheap. Oh, Lydia, are you are you being a racist? How skin you alive? There are officially racist people in Skyrim. Thank you, Lydia, for fighting this battle for me. Oh gosh, we actually killed him. Okay, well, let's search him. Uh, I didn't want that. We'll take all of your stuff, dude. Is there another enemy? Okay, um... Nice. Okay, um, let's do this. I am absolutely certain that I look like a giant chicken doing this, but I don't know what else to do, guys. Sorry. It's just scary. The world is a big scary place. I think the master level difficulty is most like real life, because you have to actually be careful not to die. Which makes it a lot harder. The more the more I hear myself talk, the more it sounds like I'm whining. Ah. At least we're going to get some awesome swag on this trip. Okay, who wants to kill me? I'll just take everything from this person. I don't get their awesome armor? Cheap. Who's trying to kill me? Oh, it doesn't say. Yep. Failure is not an option. Fortunately, I don't think I'm going to have someone else come after me. Yeah, that was a long shot. <sighs> Gotta pick the flowers, guys. Gotta pick the flowers. I'm like... Surprising myself. I'm actually taking the road. Oh, there are some wolves. Bam! Tail shot! <laughs> Three wolves. Nope. Okay. I think that wolf is gonna forget about me. We'll sneak up on it. Uh, maybe. Oh, I think it got the deer. 
Whoa! Hello. Thank you. Come on. Finally. My goodness, that's ridiculous. And you couldn't even give me any of my arrows back? Come on. I know I stuck at least two into this stupid wolf. You know what? I want to take the steel arrow. Alright, and I heard you kill the deer over here. Yep. Don't worry guys, we're not gonna eat the meat. Well, maybe we will in the heat of battle. Who knows? Oh my gosh, I'm glad I got off the road because there's a giant. With a cow. We're not gonna face a giant right now, but we are gonna save. Definitely gonna save. Boop. Okay. I would love to face a giant, but I know I'm not gonna win. Not on master difficulty, that's for darn sure. Not at the... What level am I? I think I've leveled up. <laughs> not quite. So close. I am not beating a giant on master level difficulty at level 8. That is just not happening. I am, however, interested in this house. What is it? Another freaking wolf? Well, there's a chicken. My goodness, there's a cow? What is this place? The Barley Dark Farmhouse. I don't know this place. Must be a mod of some kind that I am unfamiliar with. Because it's not marked on the map mod. This is, though... The stone puzzle. I think if you get it right and you pull this, there's like a dead guy that pops up. I don't want to... I'm not going to bother doing this right now. We gotta get solitude. We gotta start doing the numbers jobs. I'm sorry if that little maneuver there made you sick. Where is the road? The Barley Dark Farm. Oh no, it is on there. Oh, sorry. Not what I wanted to do. Okay, back to the road, guys. Back to the road. Pick up the flowers, back to the road. I guess I'll go faster if I don't sneak. Oh. Oh my gosh, there's so many wolves! Come on, guys! Alright, there's so many wolves. This one must have been the one that went with that other one that I killed in front of Barley Dark. Barley Dark, it's such a weird word. Haha, <laughs> back on the road. Um, so where is that? I want to go discover that. My unfulfilled ambition in life is to have discovered all of the locations on the Skyrim map. Unfulfilled. I hope you guys heard that. It's unfulfilled. I have definitely never done it, but I would love to. And this one's going to be even harder. Loaded Man's Grotto. Sounds familiar, but... Um, this one's going to be even harder because it's got all the little teeny-weeny places in town marked. I hope we don't come on a bear. There's a bunny! Right, I'm sneaking again. I just didn't want to get caught outside of Bandit's lair thing. Oh, hello, dear. Lost that arrow. I need to stop doing that. I need to stop doing that until I get better. Alright, so here we come to a crossroads. Ah. Oh. 
more freaking wolves, huh? Are they fighting each other or are they fighting a skeever? I don't know what that is. I think I go this way to Rorikstead, right? Yes. Markar Solitude and Rorikstead are this way. And that's where we want to go. What is that? Do you guys see that? Is that a dead skeever? It's a dead skeever, okay. I was shooting at a dead skeever. And I think there are wolves somewhere around here. Okay, so Markarth must be that way. I don't want to go to Markarth. We want to go to Solitude. Karthwaston is that way. Rorikstead is this way. We're going to Rorikstead in Solitude. I don't know if I've ever gone this way fully by foot before. Oh my gosh, do you see all the wolves, guys? This is ridiculous. Um, I'm still sneaking. But I don't want to get caught by wolves. I don't think they'll kill me. Maybe I can get this guy. No one got part of him. I'm not even gonna bother. It's Maik the Liar! I think. Maik the Liar! Maik wishes you well. So he's a liar, so he doesn't. Maik hears many stories of war, yet few of them are true. Maik is always in search of calibers, yet he finds none. I think we run into calipers all over the place. Why is he in search of calipers? Is he like a priest of Arche? Does he need to measure how wide people's heads are and stuff? Oh, I hope I don't get surprised by wolves. That would just be the bee's knees, wouldn't it? Uh, no, it wouldn't. This I'm going to discover, because I think I need to know it for later. Usually I come on it the other way, though, I think. Oh no, this is something different. Okay. It's always nice to have these little waypoints that you can fast travel to out in the middle of nowhere, so you don't have to do this all the time. It's fun to do it once. Road trips are fun once, but then after you've done them, you just want to get where you're going. Well, sometimes. It depends on who you're road tripping with. When you're road tripping with Lydia, you just want to get there. Man. Sometimes I wish, like, nature were really like this, where you could just, like, set off and do stuff. Of course, they have mods where, you know, you can freeze to death if you're not wearing warm enough clothes, and you can starve to death, and you can die of exhaustion or dehydration and you have to like actually pretend like you're adventuring in real life but you know what fun is that there's a reason I do it digitally and it's because I don't have to worry about the mundane stuff no the people who do those mods are incredibly awesome <clears throat> uh, but it's just a little bit too hardcore for me which is probably making you guys hate me, right? I'm not I'm not cool enough for you guys. Who's that? I don't know. Is that a wizard? Um Faldris. I'm on a pilgrimage to the shrine of Azura. Yeah, the well, I'd like Twilight, to talk to you. If you'll excuse oh, he's me. just a dark elf. Where is this shrine? In the mountains to the northeast. I'll mark it on your map. Sweet. <sighs> there are a lot of quests you can't help but get. The Shrine of Azura is one of them. College of Winterhold, Civil War quests. How did you get past that wolf without... Bam. That makes me feel good about myself. Um, the Dark Brotherhood starting is one of them. Obviously, like, the main quest. You can't really get past those. They just kind of happen to you. 
The one with the red guard people in my time of need. That one is hard to get past. With I mean, that one is hard not to receive also. You just kind of have to ignore it. And uh, you may or may not know this by now, but I do not like having unchecked things in a list. It drives me nuts. So, oh, I've been on a killing spree and nearly shot that guard. That would be bad. Who's that? I am interested. You look Hi, like you've seen your share of adventure. I envy you that. In fact, maybe you can help me with something. Okay, we'll pick up a side quest in Rorikstead. What is it that you need? I want to be an adventurer like you. My father says I can't. He says he needs me to stay here and work the farm. And even if he did let me be an adventurer, he couldn't afford to buy armor. As if adventurer... His name is Mralki, and he's the innkeeper here. I hope you can change his mind. As if adventurer is a career. Uh, I'll see what I can do. Thank you. I can't stand the thought of being trapped in this village for the rest of my days. It's a nice village. You got nice views. Look at that. You can see the through of the world. Uh, where's the inn? There it is. So we'll go talk to Mralki, the innkeeper. See if we can't convince him to let Eric grow up to be an adventurer. At the Frost Fruit Inn. Checking Come on, on my time. Just stoke the fire. Okay. Take a seat and get the cold down. I think we'll probably call it an episode after this, and then we'll come back. If you need a meal or room, I've got both. I'd like to talk to you about your son. My son? Eric? What about him? Did something happen? Is he all right? Uh... Hmm, I don't know which one to tell him. Let's, let's be nice. You should let your son choose the life he wants. But the world is a dangerous place. Eric has no idea what he's getting himself into. What's more, he's got no armor. I'll have to save up the money for it. Uh... You'd prefer your son to grow bitter and resent you? Perhaps you should let a father decide what is best for his own son. I don't know if I've ever been this bad at persuasion. Here, use this to buy some armor. You would give your own coin to help my son? I'm moved by your compassion. Your kind deed will not go unrewarded, my friend. Tell Eric I've changed my mind and will visit White Run soon to fit him for armor. Yay! Eric gets to fulfill his lifelong ambition to go die in a cave. I mean, oppression is never good, but it's true. Where is he? I have to mark this stinking thing in my quest log to find the kid. Uh, where'd he go? He is directly in front of me. Haha, <laughs> there he is. He's farming. Did you have any luck talking to my father? Your father changed his mind. I can't thank you enough, friend. I hope you'll come back to Rorikstead soon and pay me a visit. I didn't think you'd be here. Maybe we can swap stories about our adventures over a mug of ale at the end. <laughs> Until next time. Yep. All right. Yeah. We'll we'll call this an episode. Uh, thanks for hanging out. We got to Rorikstead. It's just kind of surprising considering all that we uh, have been through. We almost got assassinated. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.